Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a fantastic day today as always and welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. So, in the last episode, we were originally gonna complete the two side quests that we had, the two ones that were left, before entering the Isle of Mists side quest, or no, main quest. I almost said side quest. <laughs> but it turns out, the one that we started off which was called the Cabaret, that Dandelion gave us. It took longer than expected, and also it had a follow-up side quest, which was called Carnal Sins. But that one took a long time as well. And they both basically took over the whole episode. But I have to say, it was a very fun side quest, and a very fun quest line that Dandelion had, with many ups and downs and many turns in the story or the side story I should say but anyway we completed that and now we're officially done with Dandelion's questline and all we have left is Berengar's Blade which is the second side quest that we are forced to complete in order to not lose it by entering the Isle of Mists and I, if I remember correctly it's the one that we got in Kyre Morhen when we visited there. And I also think we need to talk to Vesemir specifically. I think it's something has, that has to do with the with a legendary blade, apparently. I'm not sure though, but let's jump in and see. Alright, here we are now. This is the exact spot that we finished with um, the quest. And here is Priscilla trying to heal slowly but surely she would get healed since you know she got attacked in the last episode poor Priscilla man I felt so bad for her no oh, hello doctor this man I'm very grateful for him because he helped us a lot in uh, the quest ah back again at the side nice and training not surprising <laughs> so Let's go ahead and activate it. And here it is, Berengar's Blade. I'm a little, I'm a little bit afraid because it's level 27, and we're only level 23. I don't know how hard it will be, you know. But we only have to try. So let's go all the way back to Karamor now, I think, and uh, talk to Benzemir, our teacher. Ah, here it is. We passed the whole point. Let's take it all the way back to Grand Morgan. It's a long trip. <laughs> Ooh, the weather is totally different here from Novigrad. In Novigrad it was raining, but here it's lovely, you know. Sun and a bit cloudy. Wow, look at this view, by the way. Jesus. I think Vesemir should be inside of the castle, so perhaps somewhere here. Hmm, I don't know. Yep, I was right about that. He is inside of here. Should be like in the main hall or something. So somewhere here. By the way, I think it's time to stash stashing time favorite time in the game. Yeah, I think it's time to stash a few of these weapons that we don't need. There we go. Now we have a lot more space. And by the way, take a look at our inventory here. All of these swords that we grabbed in our journey and clothes. Uh, actually, wait, I forgot about something. The saddle here. Um, I think we wanna. Yeah. I think we have it already. The specific one. I don't know. But anyway. Um, that should be it, I think. Let me also check if we have everything equipped. Yeah, we should be pretty good. And also, the 
death than a game. Want to equip some runes, or yeah, that's what they're called rune stones on our swords. So let's get this one 5% chance cause bleeding. Let's get it on hmm, which one? Perhaps our silver sword. I don't know, but I'm just playing around with these. I don't know how they exactly work. There's also a 3% attack power that I want. Yes, thank you. And some burning, why not? Now our silver sword is pretty much OP. Yeah. And I guess we can also equip some stun chance on our steel sword. And what else do I like? Oh, some armor piercing. That sounds pretty good. I don't know, but yeah. Why not? Alright, that was pretty good. Let's talk to Vesemir, which is somewhere here. Um, I see you. Right here. Hello. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Such a soothing voice he has. <laughs> Found some of Berengar's notes. From what I made out, he was trying to forge a sword. Torian, oh. you were helping him. Advising, at best. Boy never managed to forge the blade, but would never let me at the end. Mm. Just pestered me with questions. Wanted to do it all by himself, as always. Then the whole plan went to the devil, literally. Mm. What do you mean? Beringar set out to hunt a chort. The fiend had made its lair in the valley past the keep. Don't know why, but he took all his equipment with him. Maybe thought I'd tinker with his sword while he was gone. You know. I see. At any rate, the chort turned out to be strong. Too strong. Berengar had to turn tail. And since it's hard to run with four stones of kit under your arm, he dropped it all. Came oh. back red with blood. And a shame. Hardly said a word. And left soon after. So we must Never go and loot that. his blade, basically. I know the rest of the story. How do I get to this chort slayer? What is the chort? <laughs> I knew you'd want to finish this. Easiest way is to take the river downstream, as far as you can mm -hmm. go. But be careful. Berengar had his flaws, but he was a damn good fighter. If that chort's still there. You could be in for a while. I understand. So, it's probably gonna be a boss fight then, I'm thinking. Maybe not, but I don't know. Okay, I guess let's exit the castle now. I think we need to go around the... Higher modern area to reach the cave or river or whatever. Mm, I think we actually need to exit the whole place, like I said. So, yeah, I can't really jump from here. Um, should we try? Okay, wait. How's my health looking? Let's meditate just to be fully healed. Let's try and jump down from here. It's pretty scary though. Okay, that was fine. <laughs> but let's meditate again. Alright, that was nice and fun. <laughs> I think the path we should be taking is this one. Or maybe not. Wait, let me have a look on the map real quick. Yeah, I think this is looking pretty good. The path ends here, but perhaps we can go through the mountain. Now that's what I call a heart attack. <laughs> that was so shocking. Oh my, that caught me so off guard. Can't even be. Oh my god. Right. Thankfully, I can at least say that we don't lose our loot when we die. So it doesn't really matter if we die. The only thing that matters is that we spawned all the way back here. But also, you know, we don't lose anything, so it's pretty much fine. So I don't really mind. Actually, wait a minute. There is something that I do mind. But I completely forgot about. We need to talk to Vesemir again. 
So basically the last save point was when we fast traveled to Cam Warren. So we need to talk to him again. I see. I don't mind. Let's do that real quickly. Oof. I also had to restash everything back. That was a bit tiring, but it's okay. Alright. I have talked to him again. Now we need to head down the river to the Chords Cape. But I don't know where the I don't know where the river is. Oh wait a minute. I think I get it. So I had a look on the map and the river must be this one. I mean there's no other around here. So it's the only one. So we probably need to come down to the fast over point, then down here this path, and then take the path here alongside the perimeter of the river. I think that's what we need to do. So let's try that. Right, come here Roach. Let's go. So the river is right here. I guess what we can do is follow it like this as I'm doing right now. So I have to be careful with the Roach. I want to drown him in the river. So let's try and go more slowly. Oh, there are some bears here. Let's run quickly. Okay, I think we should be good now. Oh, sorry, Roach. I'm so sorry. So, I think we're doing pretty good now. Can Roach go any better? Okay, good point. Oh no, there are some enemies here. Yeah, wait here, Roach. Please. Let me kill that guy. Don't scare Roach, man. I'll dare you. Okay, thanks Roach, but I think it would be good to swim all the way there now. Or I guess, yeah, swimming is, should be good. So let's kill this drowner. Easy. And let's loot him up, of course. Alright, so let's try and swim all the way there. Oh, I see the cave. Or at least I think this is it. <laughs> it should be though. I mean, come on. Uh, actually, wait. Is it? Wait. What? Um, River disappears oh. here. I've got to be close. Okay. Nice. Okay, we are. <laughs> we are good. This is very interesting. Let's walk deeper in the cave. Oh, mushrooms. Whoa, an old strong bow. No wonder Berengar got in trouble. What is that? Oh my god. Hello, sir. Who are you? Short. That's a short. Jesus Christ, that is huge. Oh my god. Please dodge. Nice, okay. I think we can use Igni on him. Nice. That might be actually his weak point as I see it. Nice. I mean, yeah, he took a lot of damage with that Igni. It, mu it must be his weak point. I mean, he's already dead. <laughs> wow, okay. So much of a chore. Now to find Berengar's things. That was nice. And also, let's loot this guy. This big old bull. Let's also have a look in the beast yard. There it is. Yeah, it is like a bull. Definitely. But doesn't have a weakness, or not like that. But doesn't have a sign weakness. It obviously has the oil and the bomb, the, you know. But it doesn't have a specific sign weakness. All right, that's good to remember. If we ever find another short, 
perhaps we will in this case. So the silver sword should be somewhere here. Oh, there's also something else. How about was that? Okay. I see something red all the way there. It could be Berengar's, so the sword. Ah, the diagram. Ah, the diagram. Oh, he said the same thing. Taking the toy here and won't be easy, but it sure as hell worth a try. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was it. So I guess the reward was the diagram of the blade. Oh, I definitely want to have a look at that. Ah, here we go. Crafting. Should be somewhere here. Ooh, look at this one. The long claw. Oh, that's cool. And this is another one as well. Man. But where is the. What? Where's the sword? Oh, maybe it's a silver sword. Ah, here it is. Ooh, it's very strong. Jesus. Oh, you have two of them for some reason. Oh. Oh. This. Look at the damage. My god. I can also craft the level 23 version, but it's not going to be nearly as good. So that's not worth it. But we need meteorite silver ingots. How do we get those? I guess I could have a look on Google real quickly. So let me do that. Oh, here it is. So we can craft, yeah, we have five of each. So we can craft two of them. I cannot craft items here. Wait, what? Oh, wait, only blacksmiths can forge weapons and craft them, I see. So probably we need a blacksmith to do that. Let's keep that on our mind for later on. Well, actually, wait, we are finished with the quest, right? That was a very quick quest. I guess now we can run all the way to a blacksmith, which I don't think there's one in uh, Higher Mordor, right? Ah, there shouldn't be. So, I guess we can use a fast roll point and go to a blacksmith in a different region of the map. Let's do that. Ah, fresh air again. <laughs> Out of the cave we are. Oh, I can see Roach is waiting for us, like the good boy he is. Oh, what the hell was that? Um, Geralt, excuse, excuse me, let's go. All right, coach. Thanks for the trip. Now let's use this and go to. Hmm. Where could we go? It's all the ground. I mean, there's a lot of variety here. I guess we could go to Novigrad, right? Why not? All right. And it also appears to be night time here. But it was morning. But okay, I guess it was a long trip. But Blacksmith is very near of here, so I guess we can take a right turn right here. He should be somewhere. Oh, I see him on the map. So I guess inside here? No, not this door. Mm, how do we enter? I wonder. Oh, it should be from this side. Let's go and see. Actually, maybe. Yeah. I figured that we wouldn't be able to craft something here because the craftsman of this blacksmith is missing. And we also have a quest with him, which is called Of Swords and Dumplings. I think we need to finish his quest first in order to get him to come back and be a blacksmith. Maybe. I don't know. There should be a blacksmith, at least one of them in Novigrad, right? Perhaps I need to meditate until morning. 
thinking that could be the case. Let's have a look again. Now that it's morning. Mm. I don't know actually. None of them appeared here, so I'm kind of confused, not gonna lie. Oh, I do see something here. Atori, are you the blacksmith? Yes. Um, oh, that's the one that we are, can't get at the moment, I remember. That's the one that gave us the scientists that I mentioned before. So I'm thinking maybe we can use the fast route here and go to Crow's Perch. Because I know a blacksmith that's for sure gonna be there. So if you go in Velen and all the way across Perch, yep, there he is. Armor and yeah, armor basically. That's Ferguson. And the uh, Yoana. Nice. Now let's run all the way to the armor. By the way, I just realized when we fast travel, time passes. I mean, that makes sense. I just never thought about it. <laughs> uh, I'm so dumb sometimes. But anyway, let's have a chat with Joanna. Geralt, good of you to come by. What can I do for you? I need uh, armor. Wait, no, we need to need craft some armor made. Ingredients. Armor. Not armor, what? Um, I guess we can. Oh, here they are. One and two. So now we should have everything, I think. Farewell. Well, no, wait. I'm so dumb. I need to craft the weapon as well. <laughs> Geralt, good of you to come by. What can I do for you? Sorry to come here again, but need some armor good weapon as well. Witcher's armor. So if we go all the way down to the weapons. Oh, wait a minute. I completely forgot. This is an armorer. So. Need some armor, man. I can't craft weapons if it's an armorer. I need a blacksmith for that. <sighs> I'm so dumb. Wait, can I talk to Fergus? Maybe he can craft the weapon. Oi, Geralt. Right? How's the armor performing? Here to order another? Yes. No. Wait. So long. Who can make the weapon then? I have no idea. You know, I decided to take a look in Skellige. There is a blacksmith right here. So I think we have to fast travel all the way here now. I don't know why there are so many limit or not so many, but I don't know why the blacksmiths are so limited. I mean, this is the first one that I found and I've checked three regions. Maybe they don't appear on the map, some of them. I don't know. But with that said, let's just fast travel to look. Okay. Here we are in the rainy region of Skellige and there should be the blacksmith that I mentioned somewhere towards this way I think mm, let me check oh I do see him let's see if he's available there he is please ah, what what do you mean Okay, can you not? If my eyes don't deceive me, weird. you're the white wolf, warrior, lover, philosopher extraordinaire. Yes. Someone's fed you a lot of. And a friend of the great master Dandelion himself. Ah, the great master Dandelion. Hey, who built you a monument more lasting than any of bronze? When next you see him, white wolf, please convey the great esteem in which I, Sigurd, Sigurd. holds his many achievements. Okay. Oh, I'll be sure to tell him exactly what I think of his tales. It would be a disgrace to censor such an artist. Though a smith by trade, I too do my best work in words. Okay. 
I need you to craft it, please. A sword. Wait, what? Oh, wait. Why can you not craft me the sword? It's not available for some reason. It's like not good enough or something. <laughs> um, okay. I had a look on Google once again. And apparently there are three types of blacksmiths in the game. And each has a different rank. So there are amateurs, journeymans and master blacksmiths. Master ones being the best, of course. And the ones that can actually craft, you know, the legendary weapons and stuff. So we need a master blacksmith in order to craft um, Thor Harene, the weapon that we got the diagram of. But apparently, the only one available is in Novigrad. And it's the one that I mentioned before, that we need to complete his side quest in order to return to his forge and start crafting again. And he will become a master blacksmith once we complete his side quest, which, as I said before, is the one called of Swords and Dumplings, I think. Yeah, this one, which we definitely can do. But we need to do one more side quest in order to craft a weapon. That's a bit lame, because I thought we were done with the side quest and we were finally gonna continue with the main quest in the next episode, but I guess we will uh, be doing one more side quest, which is fine, I guess. All right, everyone, that's gonna be it for today's episode, and I hope you guys enjoy this video like always. So, in today's episode, we started the second and final side quest that we need to do in order to progress with the Isle of Mist main story to find Siri. And the one side quest we did was called Berengar's Blade. So we went all the way back to Kaer Morhen and talked to Vesemir. And apparently Berengar was, I think he was a witcher at one point in the past. And one day he went to a cave near Kaer Morhen to do something, I think it was to gather materials or something like that. And he got killed by a chort. Chort is a new kind of beast in the game, just looks like a bull, and it's called chort. And he got killed by the chort and all of his equipment, including the diagram of his blade, Tor Harne, that's what it's called, the blade, they were all left in the cave. So we went and explored everything. We killed the chort as well, which was a very fun kind of enemy, but pretty easy, I have to say. <laughs> and we grabbed the diagram of Tor Harne. Then we tried to craft the silver sword, because it is a silver sword. Tor Harne is not a steel weapon, it's a silver sword. We tried to craft it, but we needed a specific material which was meteorite silver ingots. So what we did was we went all the way back to Joanna in the Crow's Perch in order to craft the materials that we need to craft the weapon. So we crafted the ingots, we had all the materials, but I completely forgot that Joanna is an armorer, not a blacksmith. And only a blacksmith can craft um, weapons. So we tried to find a blacksmith, but we couldn't find one that could craft the weapon. So once again, I went on Google and I found out that there are three types of blacksmiths. And the one that we need is the highest one of all, the highest in ranking, which is called Master Blacksmith. And the only one we can have at the moment that we can have craft as the weapon is the one in Novigrad that isn't available at the moment. He's the one called Hattori, and he's uh, the dumpling maker that gave up his blacksmith position to cook dumplings, <laughs> which is very odd. And I searched it up, and apparently we need to complete his side quest in the next episode in order to unlock him as a master blacksmith 
and craft their weapon finally. So I'll see you guys in the next episode where we will be completing the side quest of swords and dumplings. So anyways, see ya.